Hi, welcome to the Around the Americas Project, a research and educational expedition. I'm Mark. I'm Jennifer. I'm Mike. I'm Grace. Hi, and welcome to the One Ocean YouTube, the beginning of our trip, May 3rd, Anacortes, Washington, headed to Alaska in the Northwest Passage. We've just finished our first month doing science, getting the boat organized, getting ourselves organized, lots of stuff going on. We found it interesting. We think you will too. One of the things is we launch our dinghy all the time. This thing is essential to the expedition. So we have Seawise Davits, nice little Yamaha from Marine Tech. Installed this before we left. Dinghy by Seattle Yachts. And uh, I mean, just the science alone, the kelp research, each site is probably three hours uh, dinghy time. And then of course, the shore excursions, groceries, whatever. We use it a lot. And you drop it there. Until it hits the bottom. Here we are dropping the quadrat. Quadrat's a pretty fun thing to use because it's got two GoPros on it. So every time we drop it at these kelp sites, we get the chance to see some pretty cool imagery and footage beneath these kelp forests. Right there you saw two seals swim past. That was pretty incredible. We get some seal footage, we get lots of fish footage, and we get to see what substrate the kelp is growing on, which helps us figure out if they're being impacted by certain things like urchins and how their health is doing and all that. So it's a pretty cool way of collecting the data. And that's quite a fun thing to be able to share with everyone and have our crew see as well. So it's a, it's a cool way of doing research. Good morning. So part of our um, project here is obviously the administrative part. Oh, and we are doing, um, usually we start our mornings with a lot of computer work. So obviously um, communication, reach out. We had our first live classroom yesterday and I've got some schools that would like to connect with us as we go. One from Charleston and we're looking forward to seeing them when we get there. And um, also I uh, upload into our map, our tracking map. And then, um, gee, I have a lot of emails to respond to and <laughs> all, all kinds do. of other administrative stuff that I end up doing in a day. Not very exciting, but it's, it has to be done. Scientist sure. Grace, what are you doing? I am doing science. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of the data we collect involves a lot of prep work on the computer and a lot of post work on the computer. So that means downloading footage, transcribing what we wrote down in the field, and then analyzing the footage. So right now I'm going through the whale photos we took two days ago of the humpback whales. So lots of hours on the computer for stuff like that. There's Michael's computer. I'm doing emails, video, drinking coffee. It's morning. Good morning. Captain Mark, what are you doing over here? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's no room for me at that table. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and at this table, we have a printer. We have printing needs. So I'm trying to set up <laughs> the printer. So which puts my role really, I think, as office boy in the morning. There you go. <laughs> I'm making sure everyone has coffee and everybody's in a good mood and everybody's happy and that they're all being productive. There we go. And in about a half an hour, we got to lift anchor and go to the next site. Kelp site number nine. Woohoo! We'll kelp site day. number nine. Oh, nine and ten, because we're doing two. Yeah. Double. Yesterday, I think we did kelp sites for how many hours yesterday? All I mean, of it was, them. It was all day. We're on the water from 11.30 till 6. 6.30. 6.30, dinner. And we did a classroom in the morning. And a shout out to Steve Quinn, because all of that involves paperwork. Back to my office boy. That's right. <laughs> we well, look at that shell. <laughs> document in eight different ways what's going on I, I that's one of my favorite parts is looking around the boat and thinking about some of our volunteers and what they did for us so thank you volunteers that's right that's this is our life day in life day one in ocean life. cheers good morning all right i'm going to stop that screen share quebec we're going to come back i promise for some more questions but i do want to bring in some more of our camera classroom so in Burlington, Washington, we've got some second graders hanging out with us. Let me get them into the call. Hey, hey second graders, how are you? There they are. Woo! Grace, what, are you Grace, what are you talking about? Is it okay though in the video? Huh? Yeah, I didn't notice it. This is my favorite beach excursion so far. It's your first beach excursion. Mark's birthday.
Fun fire day. Mike is multitasking, driving the dinghy and <laughs> filming and talking. I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> what? Nothing. Look at there. Hey, one ocean. Yeah, it looks like the best landing spot. I got food. It's his favorite hat. It's Mustang. You can't take it off. Mustang. What? Oh. Skate past there with a the propeller. Okay, you could probably lift that bike pretty quickly. Plenty of time. A uh, part of our life out here on One Ocean is also trying to explore some of our surroundings when we get the opportunity. And when we do this, we tend to connect and meet people and doing interesting things or some locals, and we find out some very fascinating stories. Uh, as well as our crew just being able to sit around and taking the moment and some time off to share stories, to share our dreams, aspirations and our goals for this 14-month uh, long journey. So uh, this bonfire was a wonderful little break for us. I mean, and who doesn't love some uh, fire roasted hot dogs and s'mores? Okay, so we uh, stopped at Port McNeil uh, about one month into the journey and it was a fabulous place to go and restock. And uh, obviously groceries are a very important part of this trip and it takes it's a team effort. So we've been going to the store and working as a team to get all the provisions and it's just made us really think about what we have ahead of us. Um, you know, through the Northwest Passage we have at least two months of provisioning to do. But the boat absorbs really well. We have a whole bunch of storage lockers and um, we've kind of tried to organize and you know that is a process. We've had to organize and then reorganize and maybe even reorganize again. But we have things kind of sorted into uh, baking goods, to canned goods, to snacks, um, you know, easy to grab stuff if we're underway. And uh, but it does take a team to organize all of this. So that's where we are at. Oh, we've also been able to uh, find some live prawns. We've been able to um, bake fresh baked bread thanks to Mike and his bread maker. And that was a fantastic thing that we decided to add on board. Um, it's been fabulous. So we've been cooking. Everybody takes turns cooking meals. So we kind of have a schedule. It's basically, it's a dinner that we take turns cooking. Um, everybody else is kind of on their own for breakfast and lunches. But dinners have been spectacular. A lot of creativity in this group. And it really makes for a happy crew to provision well, eat good meals, especially on some of these long days when we're underway for, you know, 14, 15 hours or so. So... Next stop, we'll be in Dajingit in Haida Gwaii and we'll get some groceries there. We, we definitely have to think a lot about our fruits and veggies. Um, we run low on those pretty quickly and we'll have to think about that for the Northwest Passage. But then after that, uh, we head to Juneau, Alaska and that's going to be a massive pr provision spot for us. So um, we're all thinking about what kind of things we can make and we can freeze and how we get our veggies and fruits in along the way. So yeah, next stop, Juneau, Alaska. This is where I do this. We've got 15 knots of breeze. We're doing eight. The boat's working well. Everybody's happy. Most of this kind of stuff I've done alone. And I gotta say, this is better. Um, the boat is doing really, really well. I mean, we're um, 40,000 pounds, a catch rig, the sails are working. Thanks to everybody for the refits. Thanks to Northwest Rigging. Stuff is handy. And off we go. This is why I do it. Salt on their lips as adventure roars. 